It was on this street on the morning of November 19, 2005, that the Haditha massacre happened. An improvised bomb blew apart a U.S. Marines convoy, killing one soldier and wounding another two. In the hours that followed, Iraqis say, the Marines went on a killing rampage driven by revenge. Khalid Salman remembers it all. He lost a sister, an aunt and cousins. He says five children and three adults were killed in this house. The scars remain. The Americans said they were terrorists, but they weren't. They were well-known people in Haditha. Most of them were government workers, children, the elderly and women. Another house and yet more painful memories. Yusuf al ghirari was lucky. His four brothers were not. He says U.S. Marines isolated them in this room and killed them all. U.S. military investigators inspected the scene many times. He says they told him it was a crime, but he has no faith in them. The Americans committed a crime and left. They are gone. I don't expect the jury or the trial to do anything. It will be the same comedy. They acquitted five and they can easily let go of the sixth. They are all criminals and murderers. Haditha became one of the most controversial criminal cases involving the U.S. military in Iraq. The U.S. Marines in Anbar province, where Haditha is located originally, said 15 Iraqis were killed by the improvised explosive device that killed a U.S. soldier. But investigations that followed showed 30 Iraqis were killed as Marines swept through a number of houses near the site of explosion. Many Iraqis are convinced that the Marines were avenging the death of their fellow fallen comrades. Some families in Haditha tried to sue U.S. soldiers in Iraqi courts. They were told foreign troops have immunity. The war in Iraq might be over, but graves scattered across the country tell the story of the price paid by Iraqi civilians. And in the district where the killing took place, people here hope for a better future. But they will not easily forget Haditha's dark past. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.